All right, so here we are, the first official signature sneaker to come out of the LeVar Ball family tree. Now I say official because remember, Lonzo did have a couple of signature silhouettes of his own, but those were ill-fated for a lot of different reasons. No one knows the real story about them shoes though. Them ZO2s I was playing in, they was not ready. <laughs> they were? Really? Like if you literally have my shoes from those games, like they're just, like exploded, Ripped bro. Up. Like no, I don't know how I didn't get caught. But fast forward to now, Puma is sponsoring LaMelo Ball and they gave him their first signature sneaker, I think since Vince Carter way back when. So the Melo and B01s are a very big deal. And while they are not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, they definitely have some issues. I do think that these are going to be perfect for a certain type of individual. So if you were thinking about picking these up, possibly to hoop in, you might want to stick around to hear what I have to say about them. Uh-oh, welcome to Big Baller Zone. Call for your come, I'll be checking through the peephole. Alright, so let's get started and talk about the first thing that I noticed about these when I picked them up in my hands. I do want to mention that Puma did not send me these at all. I went to Full Locker and paid for these with my own damn money. So this is about as honest as a review as you're going to get. I'm always honest in my videos, but just full disclosure there. The first thing that I noticed about these was that it's a big sneaker. Like I picked these up off the shelf and I was just like, Wow, you know what? I think I'm gonna have to go down half a size in these, which I honestly was expecting because I am a 10 and a half in Nike sneakers as well as Jordan performance models, but in Adidas, Puma, and even New Balance, I tend to go down half a size. So my real advice to you would be buy both sizes, buy two pairs, get them in your hands, pick which one you like more, and then return the other one. But if that's not an option, if you can only afford to buy one or you don't want to deal with the return process, gun to my head, I would say go down half a size. Because if you just compare these to a size 10 and a half sneaker like my Kobe 4s here, I mean, just looking at them, they look pretty similar. I mean, the Mellows look about the same size, if not slightly bigger. Now, I know this isn't the most scientific test, but just looking at it, the Mellows are quite a big sneaker. Now the good news is when I slipped my foot in these, I thought going down half a size was the right move. Slight dead space in the toe box area, which is what I like. I don't like my toes ramming into the front of the shoe. I think the Mellows are gonna be an awesome shoe for people with wide feet. If you just take a look at the entry point of the Mellows, you can see that it looks like a wide shoe. And when you compare it to something else, that like a KD shoe, which is technically narrow, you could just tell that the Mellows are going to accommodate a wider foot a lot better than most sneakers on the market today. So finally, wide footers, you can rejoice. This is a safe place to put your foot. And once you put your foot in there, you're going to realize how extremely well padded that these Mellows are. I mean, I'm talking everywhere from the collar, the tongue, the midfoot, the forefoot. There is a lot of padding within the shoe itself, and it feels absolutely incredible. That's going to help people with wide feet. Things aren't going to be rubbing against your foot in a weird area. It's just going to feel nice, soft. It's going to feel like a pillow is wrapped around your foot. And like I said, it's a very nice feeling. All right, so now let's talk about the traction. Now, like I said, I did play a little over a week in these. I got about five six, maybe six and a half hours in them. And my takeaway from this traction experience is, it is inconsistent. Now Puma did decide to go with a translucent rubber outsole and I can already hear you guys groaning in the background. And I feel you guys, I totally understand. But for me, I've had translucent rubber outsoles that were great and I've had them that just didn't work at all. The mellows I would put somewhere in the middle. If you take a look at the pattern, it's a lot of small tight knit patterns here. And that coupled with the fact that the rubber compound picks up a ton of dust can be a recipe for disaster. And it can feel overwhelming at times because you're just going to be constantly wiping this outsole. And there's going to be times where you just can't keep up with it and you are going to experience 
some inconsistencies and slippage on different movements. But I will say that the outsole did get better from my first to second run. So that could be a good sign. It could just mean that this outsole needs a lot of break in time. But as they sit right now on their best behavior, I would give these like a B minus. Maybe that's why they say rare on the outsole because it rarely doesn't pick up dust. As for the materials, Puma uses a bunch of textiles and mesh uppers with fuse overlays, which is pretty basic. You do wish from a signature sneaker for something a little more premium. However, what Puma uses here is solid. It does work. The mesh textile uppers do feel nice and soft. They're flexible. And the fuse overlays are actually pretty thin and malleable as well. So you're not going to get any weird flexing spots. The materials don't feel stiff or rigid at all. So that is good news. The bad news is, however, the one negative about these materials is that they are pretty thick. And that coupled with the padding on the inside of the shoe doesn't really allow for a lot of airflow. So if ventilation is important to you, you're really not going to get that in the mellows. It's not a hot box or anything, but your feet are going to get a little sweaty in these, as did mine. So if you're looking for a lot of ventilation, these just aren't gonna be it. Now, one aspect about these that I really have zero complaints about is going to be the cushioning system. Puma uses their nitro foam technology in the mellows. And let me just tell you guys, that nitro foam midsole is flat out legit underfoot nitro foam is going to be more on the plus side at least this iteration of it which that coupled with the extra padding on the inside of the shoe as well as the soft materials just makes a ton of sense for the overall feel of the shoe which again is soft plush and accommodating but once you start to move around on the court in these you're gonna find that that midsole does have some responsiveness as well during my takeoffs I was experiencing a lot of responsiveness, a little bit of bounce back, but during hard landings, transitions, and just standing around in these, it feels very soft underfoot. I was getting impact protection. So I feel like any player at any play style, at any size, is gonna find something that they really like here. For $120, yes, I do wish the materials were a little bit more premium. That cushioning system, might just be worth the price of a mission alone, but that's really gonna be for you guys to decide. Now, as for the visual design of the Mellows, like I said in my early first impressions video, I do think it was a mistake for Puma to launch these in this colorway. Now, this monochromatic reddish orange thing, don't get me wrong, I like monochrome colorways, especially in a red shade that is right up my alley. But the standout visual design feature here in the Mellows is gonna be this stitching on the collar area. In case you didn't know, these are supposed to be flames. Now, it is an abstract version of flames, but the reason why they're flames is because Mello has a rocket tattoo on his leg, so these flames are supposed to be an extension of that tattoo, which I think is like the coolest thing that I've seen in the sneaker industry in a very long time. I mean, just the idea of the body art on a signature player continuing onto the signature shoe that's designed for that player, it's just awesome. I don't recall anything like that being done before. Unfortunately, on this colorway, these flames just get lost. There is no contrast, and unless you're right on top of them, you really can't see it. And then when you do see it, you really can't tell that they're flames anyways. I know it's an abstract take on flames, but I just think Puma could have done a much better job showcasing this design element. But the rest of the shoe, I think, is pretty solid. I mean, I don't know how I feel about this crisscross pattern on the midsole. I think it kind of clashes with the pattern on the collar, but at least it gives the midsole some depth, some sculptedness to it. I don't even know if that's a word, but it looks solid. The branding is on point. I like the Puma logo on the forefoot. It's small, it's concise. Lamello's logo on the tongue is an awesome placement for it. However, I'm not a huge fan of the logo. That is personal taste. But overall, I mean, I like the cut of the shoe. It's a mid cut. That's my favorite cut of sneaker. I know some of you guys wish it was just a low or just a high. I'm kind of in the middle. I like mids. 
I think once we start to get more colorways of these, it is really gonna showcase the design, the visuals of this silhouette, and it's only going to get better. But one thing that I can say about these Mellows is, they do stand out. They don't really look like any other signature sneaker on the market. You could make the argument that they remind you of the Kyrie ones, but those aren't on retail shelves now. So I think amongst the big C that is the signature sneaker footwear market, I think that these Mellows can stand out. Like if you saw every signature sneaker on a Foot Locker shelf, your eye might be drawn to these Mellows. And for that, we got to give Puma props. All right, so those were my first impressions on the MBO ones. There will be a full performance review in a couple of weeks, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys my first thoughts on them, both on and off of the court. If you guys can't wait for the review and you want to pick these up, take everything that I said in this video and use it towards your decision. Remember guys, if you're looking for something that's fast, modern, sleek, and kind of like a second skin around your foot, you're not gonna get that here with these. If you're looking for something that's well padded, maybe you have a wide foot, or you're looking for something that's just plush and soft, you will be happy with your purchase if you decide to pick these up. So use all of that, make a decision on your own. I am interested to hear from the people that did pick these up. Did you like them? Did you not? What are your reviews on them? Let me know in the comments section below. And as always guys, if you enjoyed the content, thumbs it up, it helps me out a lot. And subscribe to the channel for more sneaker related content just like this. My name's Jaren Isberger Avenue. Catch you guys in that review. Peace.